well, good morning and welcome to another glorious week on my allotment. Uh, it's Friday morning, it would normally be our long weekend where we go away in the caravan. So I've managed to generate some work for myself on Monday but I've got Friday this morning off, or well, all day off. Um, and I'm going to spend Saturday and Sunday at home with Cho and my daughter Charlotte so I'm up here today. Um, it's a beautiful day, as they all are at the moment. It's absolutely, without shadow of a doubt, the most wonderful spring I can remember. Now, of course, when I was a younger man and I was a soldier, I never paid any attention, to be honest. But now I'm a gardener and an allotmenteer, I pay a lot more notice. And we go for our, a walk every Saturday, um, the three of us. And I look on the map and I work out a route and off we go. And we've had some wonderful weather. And last week we walked through some woodland and it was absolutely strewn, adorned with bluebells. And the beech trees, the, 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 the leaves on the tree were brand new, they were luscious, they were vibrant, they were a lime green almost. It was the most wonderful walk. Um, so yeah, I think this spring is probably my, uh, is the nicest spring I can remember in my life. Albeit, I understand, I pay more attention now. And I'm sure you're finding that where you are. And even if you're abroad, let me know. So yeah, it's a wonderful spring and there are people up here already. Um, and happiness is a big steaming pile of cow manure. We had a delivery earlier, a couple of weeks ago, as you know. And then somebody posted on our Facebook page that there was um, another delivery. That is so fresh. I think they've put a drip tray under the back end of a cow. It is absolutely steaming, dripping fresh. So that's not going anywhere near my beds, but what I am gonna do is today, when I get a bit of time, I'm gonna start wheelbarrowing it into my compost heaps. I've got, most of them are empty at the moment. So I'm gonna fill up my compost heaps and I'm gonna save it for next year or for the autumn when I shall probably dig it into these beds and raise the beds but I'm certainly not going to do that now it's way too fresh um, but I'm really grateful to the farmer for making the effort to deliver and it you can tell it's really proper uh, pure manure there's no bits of debris and muck in it well there is muck but it's not rubbish um, so thank you very much to the farmer um, and I've got a lovely day up here I'm gonna potter I'm gonna do a bit more watering um, I'm going to transfer some of these plants into the ground, I think. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I, you know, I don't have a plan today. Other days, you know, like last week, I, I knew I'd be hoeing all day. Um, and already the, the weeds are coming back. Um, but um, I don't really have a plan for today. So first things first, as always, you know me. I need a brew. I have a brew. Um... So I'm going to enjoy that. I'm going to sit on my chair outside. I'm going to enjoy the view, watch everybody else in work, and then I might do a bit myself. So welcome along. Well, as well as the stuff in the greenhouse, and I've still got some stuff on the windowsill germinating, it's now, as I said in the last video, it's a matter of now shifting everything up to the allotment prior to it going in the ground. So I've got leeks, um, I've got courgettes, I've got French climbing beans, sweet corn, and then the ubiquitous garden peas. These tomatoes look stunning. They're Roma, and I can't take any credit for them. Um, Bridget has given me some more raspberry uh, plants, and she gave me this tray of Roma tomatoes. I'm absolutely over the moon. How generous. So... They'll be going in the ground today, whatever happens. Very pleased. Well, here are said raspberry canes um, in two buckets of water just to keep them fresh. But without delay, I've got to get those in the ground and then give them a good drink. Uh, right, this is my carrot station. Um, and those who followed me for the year I've been posting videos will know that I've had absolutely no joy with carrots. So uh, the, the, the soil we've got here is really heavy, clumpy, uh, very 
clay and, and it's just too heavy and carrots don't stand a chance in it. So what I've done is I've filled these with a uh, soil and sand mix so it's quite a loose and draining uh, soil. Um, I've filled them quite high because I, I need the sun to get on them and I've uh, moistened, I damped down the soil, I scattered the uh, carrot seed loosely and then I put a, a dry uh, layer very very thinly of uh, sifted soil over the top of them and then I covered them with a board for exactly seven days and having watched other YouTubers the theory for that is that uh, carrot seed don't need light to germinate uh, they need moisture and because I've covered them it kept the rain off them and, and rain compacts and pounds the soil and creates a hard crust which sometimes they don't get through so after the seven days I removed the, the, the board that was covering them I gave them a, a water and I've left them and I've done nothing with it and you won't be able to see from there but I'll show you in a second all across the surface now um, I now have um, seedlings germinating and they're all sweet candle except the one on the end which is an early Nantes 2 and that was sown a week earlier so these three sweet candle and never grown them before I took that off the recommendation of uh, Nigel on Muddy Boots channel um, and we shall see we'll see what happens but they're, they've germinated that's the main thing so I'm really pleased with that not a great deal to see at the moment but there are signs of life and that's all I need to be happy. Two things while I make my brew. Firstly, has anyone else noticed it's getting busier? I drove out here this morning about eight o'clock and the road into Chepstow from Gloucester Way was queuing. Now that road's norm when it first when this first started, that road was empty. Um, and they're queuing now. So everything's getting a bit busier. All Travis Perkins and a few of the building merchants are open, B and Q's opening. I see car manufacturers are going back to work slowly. Things are, you know, with or without the government, things are starting to not get back to normal, but getting busier and it's nice to see although I'm quite enjoying the traffic situation at the moment it makes my working day a lot easier um, selfishly but um, yeah it'd be interesting to see what stay you know this all the walking people are doing people seem friendlier in the street there's a lot of good things to go with this as well as the obvious you know tragedies and bad things but anyway the roads are getting busier that's my observation and Following on my uh, campaign of Niff Naff and Trivia, do you know where the term to shake a leg comes from? When you wake people up in the morning, as I used to with my children, usually about 5.30 on a weekend, I'm joking. Shake a leg, come on. Well, again, thanks to the Royal Navy. Um, a lot of men on board ships of the line were pressed men, i.e. they didn't want to be there. So when you went into a port, you couldn't just let them run ashore, um, they wouldn't come back. So what the, the Navy used to do was bring ladies, I use the term loosely, onto the ship for the men's entertainment. And uh, obviously things would go as, as they do. And in the morning, when, before they set sail, the Royal Marines would walk down the lines of hammocks on the gun deck and they would shout, shake a leg. I, I think it started out as show a leg. And it, you know, it just sort of developed into shake a leg and they'd have to show a leg. Um, how in the days before the lady shave and the safety razor and ladies couldn't do anything about their body hair, how the Royal Marines knew the difference between the men's and the women's legs is, is only up to imagination. But when they identified the ladies' leg, they would be um, escorted off the ship. So that's where the phrase to show or to shake a leg comes from. Again, fascinating. Well, at least I think so. <laughs> you may not be so enamoured by it. Um, yes. There we go. We have steam. It's my kind of brew. 
out of a packet. Kenko coffee, three in one. I'm not on commission. Other coffees are available. Well, that's 17 tomato plants Roma, which is one of the uh, plum tomatoes. And then there's one of Alicante down there. Thank you, Bridget. And then in the same bed, I've put my swift sweet corn. That's the first sowing, and I shall do a second sowing tonight so that hopefully all the cobs don't come at once. Just got to water them in now. Well, if you could smell what I can smell, it would put you off your evening meal. However, it's all good stuff. And I'm going to let that rot down probably until the autumn, maybe later. But the pile's significant enough that I don't think we need to worry about it anymore. So what have I got in the ground? I've got beetroot, onions, onions, garlic, sweet corn tomatoes, there's more onions over there, dead raspberries, live raspberries over there, all the strawberries or most of the strawberry plants are greening up a treat now, a few radish in that tin, don't know what's wrong with the gooseberries, I've noticed other people's gooseberries don't look good this year, um, more onions, shallots, uh, second early potatoes, brassicas under the net. The blackcurrant bushes look good. And then alderman peas, strawberries in two beds, all beans, more onions. And then dotted around up here, I've got blackberries. And they're all looking good. And I've got lettuce and spring onions in that raised bed. More brassicas coming on in pots. And then my Brussels sprouts, some more tomatoes. Um, courgette zucchini over there. And more broad beans, some nasturtiums. And then the carrot boxes behind that. So 24th of April. Very happy with how it's going. What a spring. Absolutely stunning. Well, I'm about done in today. It turned out it's got to be one of the hottest days of the year. It's been absolutely glorious. Um, very productive, I think. Um, very happy with how things are going. And... Um, I should probably, I'll probably come up Sunday. The thing is, it's so hot that, um, and things are still in fairly small pots that you've got to come up regularly and do the watering. So I may not come up and spend any great time up here, but I'll probably come up one evening over the weekend and do a bit of watering. Other than that, I hope you're all well and looking after each other. Look after yourselves. And all being well, I shall see you next week. Take care. Bye for now.